Great, great, great Nigerian students! Great, 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 great Nigerian students! Great Wagner! I want to deposit. Thank you very much. Are they distinguished leaders? I am delighted to be here with you today and to be part of this 13th convocation of Ebony State University, a great city of knowledge. Firstly, I congratulate the graduates who have received their degrees today, having completed the rigorous training at the university and are about to step into their professional life. To you, my dear graduates, Enormous challenges and opportunities are waiting for you in the, wider, in the wider world. It is for you to face these challenges and work with unwavering dedications to make, our, to make your contributions to human society. Today is not just about, greatly today is not just about convocation. I prefer to call today a moment of taking crucial life decisions. I trust this great knowledge, these this great institutions, this great hub has created and equipped you with sustainable skills to stay afloat, not to sink into the larger world. Our nation is somewhat badly challenged at this great moment, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Requiring urgent individuals and collective activities so that our nation can rise again in a very higher level of endeavor and achievement. I do not doubt that it is the young that will do it. The young, energetic, the well-built, the intellectuals, for them is the task, having undergone intellectual rigors, you adapt change, you adapt transformation agent that our nation Nigeria seeks to have today. Such a scenario of change and the transformation is at hand today. As the country breaks itself toward achieving social and economic justice. In this regard, therefore, are there distinguished leaders? Are there states look up to its youth power to lead from the front, not from the back? There are enormous challenges and opportunities are waiting for you, the youth of our great states. As governments, we understand there is need for the creation of employment opportunity for the youth to engage them and utilize their energies gainfully. This we have done. Very soon you will see our action. We are expanding our efforts in job creation. In our manifesto, Christian People's Charter of Needs, we vowed to provide an environment to attract local and direct foreign investment and enhance business investment for job and wealth creation. Therefore, our younger generation will leverage on the opportunities to earn a living. We will not rest until the future of our youth, and I mean it, until the future of our youth are made brighter. Our investments in education Our investment in education and human capital development in this state is much less. We are intentional in this regard because we know the place of literacy and scholarship for this new generation. I can proudly say we are the only state in Nigeria with professors in charge of our education sectors. We are not owning this university that is known all the accruals are fully paid. We release conventions at, as at when due. In our quest 
to ensure the growth of the university on assumption of office we increase their subvention, which enable them to clear backlog of areas of salaries. This will continue within the limit of our resources. We want our professors to deliver on their mandates. And the accumulation of their efforts is what we are witnessing today. I have directed the Bonista Scholarship Board to start processing applications for first degree master's degree and PhD. The target is to produce 1,000 graduates every year. And this 1,000 must be Ebonians with master's and PhDs in any field and country of their choice before I leave office in 2031 by the special grace of God. We will be handing over and be celebrating the rejection of at least 8,000 graduates. Let me announce to you the first batch of 300 beneficiaries of the state government scholarship scheme will depart the country to the country of their own choice to pursue their master's and PhD before 29th May. Whereas the, the 700 others will enroll for admissions in university within Nigeria. At Bonyu State University, we have 70%. We are determined to industrialize the state for our collective good. I read our professors here have in-depth knowledge of assisting the government in correction, even as they also know that there is a need for initiative and enterprises, and also a need for entrepreneurs. They have complemented and supported our efforts in this regard by teaching you basic entrepreneurs and survivalist scale that you have received from our erudite professors in this great city of learning. As the, nation, as the new, new generation of these states, you have to take up the responsibility of the development of our great state, Ebony. And each people, by deploying all these Eruda professors' thoughts to you, distinguished graduates. If we look at the history of our developed society in the world, we see that it is the initiative of their people that enterprise, their enterprise, their struggle, that enabled this society and the countries to come up. It is never the initiative or enterprise of the visitors or the foreigners that build countries. Granted that all of them had MS odds against them, but they took up the challenges and converted them into opportunities. I said this yesterday night in Illumina Night. They developed the technologies to fight the odds. They build enterprises to produce their needs and provide for the necessary services. It is their hard work that has brought them where they are now. And everybody wants to jack back without asking questions. How did they get to that place they are? External support can only help in starting an initiative, only. It cannot build. It cannot give you the enterprise. It can only help you to start those things that you conceived on your own. That is what external support can do to you, the singles, ladies and gentlemen. To sustain and certain it, and to bring it to the friction, need and hard work, our unwavering efforts. That is exactly what I want you to do, our great guardians. The state needs its youth to be well-trained, skilled, and motivated. There is a need for the entrepreneurial spirit to be awakened. There is a need for them to be guided, to find their paths. We have provided that environment because we, we prioritize education and human capital development. As governments, 
we are ever ready to fund any research endeavor that may be undertaken by any of you, our great leaders. Make us proud and make our states more visible by the quality of research you undertake. By doing so, distinguished graduates, our dear Eroda professors and great researchers, the state and nation Nigeria will be seen and be heard very loud. We have taken practical steps to place our health institution on a proper pedestal to improve the health of the people. So far, so good, by the grace of God. We have commenced equipping of our general hospitals across the state within mo with modern facilities to be able to function optimally. We provided SUVs to our medical doctors. It has become imperative to pay attention to the training of that great next generation, especially of healthcare providers, as well as develop new and most effective ways to care for the patients through outcomes based research consequently in line with Article 1, Clause A of the irrevocable deed of the Margin Memorandum of Alex Ekwe Federal University. To our own great medical students, this is a new dawn. The known Alex Ekwe University Teaching Hospital, Feta 2, located along Abakaleke Enugu Expressway, is now known and called an address as a Bonnier State University Teaching Hospital, Abakaleke. We give thanks to our dear President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Chinubu, for the show of love and understanding. We are indeed committed to making a State University a world-class university that will compete favorably with any university in the whole world. A State government is not satisfied with the level of infrastructure in the university. We have commenced upgrading of infrastructures in the university and be rest assured that we shall increase the tempo to give the university a well-known facility. Let me announce to you that the salaries of the academic staff of Ebony State University, by the special grace of God, on behalf of the government of Ebony State, as the visitor of this university is hereby increased by 20%. Why that of the non-academic staff of our great university are increased by 10 percent? And the school fees of our great students of the university. Our dear distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the school fees is hereby reduced by 10 percent. and gentlemen, all thanks and honor goes to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who summoned courage and removed first subsidy. 
If that had not done, definitely as a state, we wouldn't have the resources to cut our eggs. So I thank Mr. President especially for taking the bold step and do that. This is to encourage the zeal and commitment which they have so far demonstrated in the discharge of their duties as staff of this great university accordingly. The monthly subvention of the university is thereby reviewed upwards from 200 million naira to 280 million naira. Just to complement the reduction we did at the school fees and the increment we did at the salaries of the university staff. Henceforth, graduate of Ebony State University origin. Henceforth, graduate of Ebony State origin. Ebony State origin with first class honor will be offered automatic employment so later in our great university here at Boyne. It's very wrong for somebody to sit down and study, dedicate all his time to do well at the university after graduating with a very good result, you will start looking for a job outside. Since the university didn't make it necessary to graduate him with first class, the same university will take him to nature. And if you are also from a Boy State origin, if you are an indigenous of the state with first class, you have automatic scholarship to do your master.